So wildfire smoke actually could make um, you more susceptible to COVID-19 or it could make COVID-19 worse. I will say that, you know, we are still, um, at least research-wise, somewhat in the early phases of the COVID-19 pandemic in that we don't really understand a lot about um, the disease. I will say that the emerging research so far on air pollution in general and wildfire smoke is, um, you know, kind of a subset of that, um, is that there seems to be an association with increased susceptibility to COVID-19, um, increased severity, and um, so uh, worse outcomes. I think the short-term effects that we get really concerned about is, you know, we get really concerned about, so as a lung doctor or as an ICU doctor, I get very concerned that if you get COVID-19, are you gonna be somebody that ends up on a ventilator? And so the people that end up on a ventilator are these um, patients with um, the virus who go on to get something called acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS. Um, and that's basically where you get overwhelming um, lung inflammation. And so um, with COVID-19, um, uh, you know, we, we've, we're seeing a lot of this. Um, and with wildfires, um, so with air pollution in general, we actually have seen in certain studies that that can put you at increased risk for getting um, uh, this ARDS or acute lung inflammation in association with other triggers, so particularly with acute trauma. Um, so there is some data suggesting that maybe um, air pollution could put you at increased risk for getting these really severe outcomes. I'm also really concerned about the, those long-term effects too. So in a patient who's just getting over their very severe respiratory infection and now they're inhaling smoke into their lungs, um, is that going to make their symptoms worse? Are they gonna now have to come back into the hospital because they're feeling worse? In a typical wildfire season, we do actually see that there are more people coming to the hospital and emergency room um, with respiratory problems, including um, pneumonias or other pretty significant respiratory infections. And that's been shown in studies too. So it's not just um, me as a doctor seeing it, but um, seeing it across studies. So um, we do see that, that there is more um, uh, uh, more respiratory infections in just in wildfires and not not even when you're considering a pandemic. You know what we are trying to the the most important thing right now is to try to limit your exposure to the wildfire smoke as much as possible um, and so try to be not outside all that much um, and you we are still gonna have to be um, you know, interacting with other people some in, in the middle of this pandemic. And so for that, you want to make sure that you are wearing a mask that um, uh, protects other people and protects yourself. Mm -hmm.